G'day, so we got here a uh, beautiful bit of kingfish. How do I know? Because we bloody caught the thing and we're gonna make some sashimi or uh, in the great words of the great man himself, Sir Malcolm Douglas. And if you don't know who Malcolm Douglas is, turn this video off, search Malcolm Douglas, and then come back, like and subscribe this video, watch it because you know, you got this is the first and foremost, but uh, he is the king and uh, he would call this shushy. Anyways, as a fisherman, we're gonna go through how a fisherman would do sashimi, not so much a chef. I'm not a chef, I am a fisherman, and every good fisherman or every fisherman should have a filleting knife. This is a Kershaw blade, and I use this to fillet this fish. I don't have a sashimi knife. Could use a chef's blade, but I know this one has a very good edge and it cuts shushimi, shushimi like a dream. So um, we're gonna cut this up and you know, I do see the occasional fella just go whooshka and uh, grab a knife, cut it up on deck and then smash it down the throat. Um, and you know, I'm all for that. I'm all for that. In fact, I did it the other day with some calamari out at sea and that was absolutely tremendous. Um, this um, can stay in the pocket for this one because I'm going to serve this to the outlaws and we need to be uh, making sure that they uh, get to experience the fish, you know. It's been chilled, it's nice and firm, the texture is everything in sashimi. You don't want it too thin. This one still has a skin on so I'm going to remove that skin and I'm just going to get pretty much the portion that I'd like to use. I've patted it down with a bit of... Um, paper towel and I've cut basically down what I want to use and I'm just going to remove that skin. Yeah, so I'm trimming off a bit of the bloodline and I'm just um, cleaning this up, just a bit of shoulder here and basically it's important to spike your fish so kill it nice and as quick as possible and to also bleed it. So that's nothing but white flesh there, skin off, bones off. Um, and yeah, these uh, rings, we're gonna make sure that we cut and make it sort of like it's a rainbow. Um, we're gonna probably make them about yay thick. Yay thick, we all know how, how big that is. Um, and you don't necessarily need to make it wafer thin. In fact, a lot of people have that misconception that that's what sashimi is, but it's not really. All right, and as you can see, this knife is doing the job just fine. And because it's been chilled, it's staying together, it's keeping firm. Like I said, you can go off and buy an expensive sashimi knife, but this knife does a fantastic job. all delicious. Might even make a bit of a ceviche out of some of this. We've got a fair bit of kingfish here. It's about a 75 centimetre fish. Nice firm bits of sashimi cutting away. Who said that uh, just because we're fishermen we can't live it up? So we have pickled onion, wasabi, kingfish sashimi with a nice soy dipping sauce. Alright, get another portion. Again, see how we got that red? Part, just a little bit of bloodline, I'm just going to trim that up. And again, like, that's a good knife, so I'm getting nothing but the bloodline out of that. 
making really quick work of this fish. I've got a few lemons here, so I'll pretend um, that these are limes for now. I'm not going to cut the lemon with this because it can deteriorate a blade edge, so I'm just going to grab a chef knife. Alright, so cupping the hand, squeezing the lemon juice in there or lime juice, and that is basically going to cure the fish with your ceviche. There's so many ways to skin a cat, a thousand ways you could say, and um, Basically, this is going to cure it, so it's going to cook the fish, turn a bit white, and it will also get a bit firm, more firm. Now, you can go crazy with this sort of stuff. You can do an Asian style. I had a great one when I was in Samoa, they did with coconut juice. All right, so you make sure that's all going. And uh, so that's all, you know, really nicely cut, and just want to coat that, and yeah, that'll start to cure. And you just add your flavours in, so... Gotta have a try though. Look at that. Just beautiful white flesh. Oh yeah. That's unbelievable. Ceviche. Serve it after about half an hour, 45 minutes, when that just started to cure a little bit. And um, yeah. Not just a good fish for cooking. This is what I, I do with it. Right there, if you went to a sushi place, or sushi place, you know, that's a couple hundred bucks maybe. <laughs> well, this fish would be for sure. So if you if you treat the animal correctly, respect it, um, there's no, you, you don't need to be some sort of a master chef. I definitely don't claim to be, but it's not hard to, to make a really, really good meal. Healthy and um, yeah, you're getting everything out of this fish possible. Show the end product. All right, that's a bit from the ceviche. You can see how it's gotten a bit white and almost marbled. That means it's, it's getting there, all right? And basically, um, this is what it's looking like. We've got fresh ginger, garlic, uh, with tomatoes, red onion, avocado, coriander. These are uh, fruity red things, what are they called? Pomegranate. And um, I'll put some pine nuts there at the end for a bit of crunch, salt, pepper. Uh, the lemon's still in there, it's still curing, uh, and that'll be a really nice dish to serve up to the in-laws when I get up there. I'll probably pour a bit of the lime, more lime juice in there.